And in three, two, one. Hello, YouTube. Then Burma is back again with some Minecraft playing, <clears throat> playing on our world once again. Here, just wanted to show off what we did last episode before we got started. Uh, this is the finished product of the the start of the Emerald Farm. It's not the entire Emerald Farm, obviously. There's there's gonna be a big old thing above it, but. I will go ahead and show you what we did finish. So here we have the killing chamber and here I have a nice easy spot just to throw the trident. Also we got a trident with men, uh, with mending on it and we went ahead and got that nice and uh, fixed. So yeah, that'll work its magic, that'll do its thing. and. That'll be, you know, going on while we're actually working on the second part. I went ahead and decorated this area, this uh, tower, to make it look sort of like a fire watch tower. Um, you know, like they're out in the forest and they watch for fires, right? That's that's what they are. But uh, I know it doesn't really make much sense since we're on the, the flat ground. But hey, it's just like a watchtower. I think that's good enough. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I like it. Very pretty. Also, I learned that there's one more villager over in that village. Um, hopefully there's another one in the village over here. Where's that other village? I know there's another village over here. Somewhere. But yeah, we're eventually going to have to get villagers, villagers over here. So hopefully that'll be nice and easy. But yeah. Oh, I also went ahead and flattened most of this land. Just because it makes it a little bit more likely for the raids not to spawn over here. But yeah. So, I also got some scaffolding with us. Uh, this is probably not nearly enough. Um, I'm actually probably going to go grab back, go back and grab some more. But it's okay, we have rockets now. And I'll show you a couple of other things I worked on. I really like this uh, dark oak forest, by the way. We should build something in there once we uh, start expanding more. So, I don't know if you can tell, but that is actually a little taller. I think it has about four or five new levels. Uh, not a crazy amount by any means, but still, any amount is good. Also, I didn't record this just because it was kind of a boring fight. I kind of cheesed it. But I did a raid between episodes as well. Um, I got some random blocks on me. And we got some totems of undying, I believe is what they're called, right? I can't even remember what they're called. But we're going to have a couple of those on us, just so we don't kill ourselves on accident. Ooh, I forgot to grab that trident. Uh, we'll probably have to reset that trident. Maybe. Um, but yeah. I think that's everything. Let me go ahead and make us up some more of these scaffolding. So for scaffolding, we need bamboo and string. Um, I don't know how much we need of each, though. Easy peasy. Hopefully that's enough. Looks like enough. I don't need any buckets. Do I need buckets, actually? Um, uh, yeah, 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 we need buckets. Okay, cool. And in the future, we'll probably go ahead and make a nether portal that, you know, transitions between this part. Although, it is kind of going to go between a bunch of stuff that we're going to be building. Like, we're going to be building in the swamp a lot with the mushrooms. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, I was kind of thinking of, like, what kind of facade we want. And I was thinking an air balloon would be kind of cool to have up here. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, let's check to see... Okay, so that actually does still work even if we go out of render distance. So that might be something that we just leave there forever. Which would be very convenient, actually. Okay, let's go up. And I never really figured out what the actual distance is, but I do know 128 is the max distance for... Um, things to spawn. So we're just going to be basing it off of that. So let's go ahead and get the um, X, the Y coordinate, I guess, 
for this spawn location and then we'll make sure that that stays within range. So this spawn location needs to be 128 blocks uh, from us. And the spawn location is here, right? So let's go ahead. So it's 80. And we could go 128 blocks out of that. So we can just make it an even... Oh, I don't know why I just did that. I didn't mean to just do that. Thinking out loud makes me do silly things sometimes. But we need to make it 200 tall, pretty much. Or go up to uh, 200 at least. Because our max is 228. And we don't want to reach our max. We just want to like get up there, you know? But this is 64... So we'll probably need, uh, I don't know how much more, but we'll, we'll get there. And hopefully that actually spawns things because I, I, I don't know. It makes me nervous, you know, like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, doesn't. I don't know how close we have to be for that to work, you know. I'm going to actually look that up real fast. <laughs> Sorry, have you heard that I had a TikTok open? Alrighty, Minecraft, watch tower, spawn, rules, pillager outpost. Alright, do do do, in Java, no, I don't really care about Java, iron golems. Bubba, bad omen, structure. Okay, it doesn't really tell me anything. Let's go ahead and switch over to our creative world real fast and see what we did there. So that was just a copy of this. Ooh, noisy. Okay, so it should be at 80 also, right? Yeah, and we went up. Oh, we we went up pretty high actually. So we doubled that. We went up eighty, and it still works. So we can go up. Let's go ahead and see if we actually go up to one to two hundred to see if we get bad omen. Because theoretically we should get bad omen, but it does need to drop. So let's go to one ninety five, and let's try to be directly above it. Okay. I'm just going to let this run for a second, so I will be back in a second, I guess. Okay, so I did some testing and weird things. Um, the highest I could get that thing to work down there, the highest I could get that to work was 160. At 160, if I'm standing at 160, I can still get some amount of spawns, right? Um, so that's weird. So I was, there it goes, 160. So my head is at 160 right now. Um, I feel like I should have a little bit more room than that, but apparently not, which is fine. Is this not lined up? That'll bother me if that's not lined up. Oh, it's two by two. That's annoying. That's okay though. Um, but yeah, so... We are just going to have to go to 160 and uh, build it there, which is fine. Like, I, I want it to work more than anything. If it's not going to be lined up how I want it, then uh, I will just have to deal with that. But yeah. Oh, we need to grab some blocks. Silly. All right. So we're building at 160. We'll go ahead and grab this for the redstone. I don't remember if I have enough redstone. Um, do we have... Our sticky pistons. No, that is a big old fat no. We need to go get some sticky pistons. Do we need any other redstone other than sticky pistons? I don't really, th I don't think so. 
because we just need a door, sticky pistons, water, hoppers. We got hoppers. Oh, that's not a hopper. This is a hopper. And some chests. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to grab... After we build like the killing chamber, we're going to make a... Basically a blimp. And the killing chamber will be the basket. So we'll have to go back and grab a bunch of... Uh, oh, a bunch of wool. But we'll do that when the time comes, I think. But we do have to have uh, sticky pistons. We'll go ahead and grab our sticky pistons and our trident. And hope our trident doesn't break on us. Now that I know that we can just like leave them and come back and they'll still be working though, uh, I am very much less worried about it. That is much nicer than what I would uh, that what I thought I had to do, which was have to pick it up every single time. But if we can just leave them in there forever, uh, we're gonna do that. It's not like we need tridents for anything, you know. So yeah, and like it's so far away that it's not gonna really cause lag for this area, which is also a very much a plus. And I know we're going to have to put um, leaves on a lot of stuff. I see you. Come back here. What are you doing? How are you doing, little piggo? Hi. Oh, hi. What you doing? You're a zombie. Should you be in the zombie place? I guess you're a nether person, huh? There's a lot more mobs in the nether than I, like, gave credit for, by the way. Oh, we only have three sticky pistons. I know we have slime somewhere. I think it's just in our junk box. Yeah, there. Okay, and we have iron. And we need wood. And is it cobblestone? Sorry, I like to grab things from our junk box. We're going to need chests. We're going to need more iron than that. So we'll go ahead and grab a full stack of it. We have redstone. Let's go grab us some wood real fast. Zip. Uh, yeah, we got, we got wood for days. All right, piston. I need cobblestone. Cobblestone is on the low side because I always use a silk touch pick. We only need one more of those, and we need a sticky version of that, please. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, do we have everything now? Okay, we got this for redstone. Not we're going to use a ton. We got buckets. Ooh, let's go ahead and grab some lava while we're here. Because I have, like, a random source of lava that I, I made over here. Because I just had, like, lava buckets, but I needed the buckets. Oh yeah, I just made like a random source of lava. Hey, it's gone now though. I don't know why that never burned down the forest that I have right there. Luck, I guess. Yeah, I didn't have much luck uh, doing the testing either. Uh, so I was like standing there for like 10 minutes. I'm like, man, I'm just not getting any spawns at all, no matter where I was, right? Then I went down to that thing and I was like, okay, what's going on? And I forgot to put a trident. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't really test it if there's no freaking trident in there. Yeah, we're still good, though. Up we go. Yeah, and this is going to be kind of noisy and annoying, but that's okay. What in life is not kind of annoying? Everything right now. The world is in flames. And I'm just here for it, aren't I? Uh, and we're going to have to build a village somewhere. We'll have to wipe out that one, I think. Although, I don't think it's close enough to have to worry about. Um, is there another village nearby? I thought there was. If not, we'll have to uh, transport a villager via the nether. Because I am not transporting a villager all that way. That would be horrendous. Um, doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's get this thing started. So we'll start with the killing chamber, but let me go ahead and build a platform in oop, in the direction that we're not building. Just so I can have some room. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's how far I can go up. 
and we'll put a chest just so we can drop some of this stuff off so we're not cluttering up our inventory when we don't have to. Oh, I forgot wood. I'm a silly goose. It's okay. It's just downstairs. What if I forgot to put my lighter on? I would have just splatted so hard. Well, that's what the totem is for. Because I do that a lot. Okay, let's hope that's enough for the bucket. And launch back up there. I really don't like landing on this stuff. What is this called? Scaffolds? Don't like landing on them. Very terrifying. Alrighty. And we will start the killing chamber right here. Um, so... I think it needs to be this big. Right? Because it's a 4x4. Four four. And we'll have pistons. Doot. 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 And doot. And then we'll have observers. Um, this observer will watch this one. This observer will watch this observer. And so forth. Just a nice little pattern. And of course that happens. And we'll have to put a switch where we stand so we can turn it on and off if we want to. Um, there's not a huge reason to turn it off though since this won't be in render distance. So this will be so far out of the game. Oh, I didn't bring the other trident. I'm so silly. That's okay. We'll get it later. Um, but yeah, because it's so far, like, it won't matter. Because it's, we're like a billion blocks away. Like, home is so far that way, it, it, it won't, it won't stay in spawn. So we're good there. Oh, I keep forgetting blocks. Do we have glass? I really hope we have glass. And should I be concerned that that's not spawning right now? Because we should absolutely have had a spawn. Which is a little concerning. Why aren't you spawning? Maybe you are spawning and this isn't working though. Nope, that's definitely working. Oh, please. Oof. Let's just, uh... Get that back there. Maybe we just haven't had very much luck with it being a captain. Nope, that's uh, no spawns. Hmm. See, I don't really want to work on this part if that part's not working. That's the only, like, worry, you know? But I tested 160. Yeah. It's okay, I guess just have faith. Right? I mean, it was working for us uh, earlier, so we can just uh, either assume that it's going to work for us now or um, not. Oh, this way. This needs to be... <laughs> this actually needs to be going into a chest. My bad. Ugh. Oh, good. They're just in here. And we will go ahead and put that there. And let's see, we do have hoppers, which is excellent. I'm glad we remembered. That's uh, one win for us today. Let's see if we can finally stop forgetting things. And we're going to add some glass right there. So we need a platform or something that we are going to be standing on. Where is right here? See if we can go out. Yes, we can. I think I need to go one lower, though. There we go. Beautiful. We're going to give this a bottom just to make it look a little better. And that's where we'll put our spot to stand also. Yeah, our standing spot will be right here. And hopefully, the plan is I probably need to actually have this be leaves. Because I can't think of anything else that stops these guys from uh, spawning. But yeah, we'll figure that out in the future. 
for now, we'll just have to finish this up. Oh wait, we can't use. We not we might not be able to use wool because this has to have lava in it. I kind of forgot about that. Huh. Well, that's kind of annoying, actually. Um, it's okay. We'll figure something out. Oh, I have fallen. It's okay. We got ourselves. Back up we go. What is happening? Why is nothing spawning? Hard survival... Hmm. Something's weird. And I don't like it. Why the simulation chunks? That's all the way up. That's how it should be. We should have gotten like six of those freaking guys to spawn by now. But none of them are. Which is concerning. Did I break this thing? Hey guy, are you stopping people from spawning here? I doubt you are, but uh, just in case. Just gonna murder you. Let's go up like 128 blocks, you know? Because they should have spawned by now. Yeah, we're getting regular mobs. Oh, uh, I know what's happening. We're missing a block. Oh my goodness. That's super annoying. Okay. Hi guys, how did you spawn down here? Um, I'm guessing those aren't actually from the tower. I'm betting they're from, like, the roaming versions of them. So we should be able to actually just get rid of them by just, you know, going up. Okay, so if they go away, they're not part of the tower. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. So what another thing we need to build is like where the villagers are actually going to be. So we'll start with that next, but let me go ahead and add some distance for the drop. So they're going to fall in here and get munched up. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so that'll be the basket. And then I kind of want the village a little hidden. So we gotta plan this. So we'll have the basket and then like something holding the basket, right? Um, basically, I want like a giant balloon in the sky. So I have to blah, blah, blah. I have to design it around that idea. Okay. Where we should put the village though? The village doesn't have to be anything too glamorous, glamorous. But it does need to have leaves. So we'll build out of leaves initially and then surround it with everything else. I think I only need one villager though. So let's go grab some leaves. This tree will do. And I'm also not picking up anything because my inventory is full. Gotta love that. Gotta love it. Um, what can we drop off easily? Let's go ahead and drop off those. And we didn't really use those because we didn't really need to. We won't really need redstone. Alright, we should be good. I'm getting so good at using this elytra. 
It's like my favorite thing in this game. We need to make like an elytra course. Because that would be fun. I don't know if anybody has uh, played on the 360. But they had this like mini game section of the game, right? And on it they had these elytra courses. Where they had like boost strings and racing and, and like best times. And it was very cool. And then in the next version of the game, they didn't have that at all. It is really, really lame. I really wish they had kept that feature. Because it, like, it wasn't on a server. It was just on your Xbox. It was great. Very disappointed that they got rid of that. But hey. That's fine. Oh. That was very close. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay, so I'll make the initial one out of leaves. Uh, it's going to be within the balloon, right? So let's go up like three blocks. Let's go up four blocks. And then we'll build it. Okay, so I'm going to say that's going to be big enough and then he the villager will have a little box and this will be hidden inside the balloon hopefully that'll be the balloon will be big enough we are, we'll just have to assume it will because we can't build the balloon just yet and then we need to get a villager inside here and we'll close it off There we go. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah, that'd be fun. And then between here and there, and that's above the village, we will have the spawning locations for um, the bad guys. And I believe this does actually need to be stone so that it doesn't burn down, you know? But it needs to be topped with leaves. Or at least the balloon does. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Because anything that's not with leaves will be able to be spawnable for them. So let's see. What kind of blocks do we have down here? Doesn't really matter. It just needs to be stone. So we have cobblestone and regular stone. Let's go ahead and use a regular stone. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Still haven't got a spawn here. Um, still concerning. Why aren't you spawning? You just not liking me today? It's okay. We'll just have to have faith and I'll have to test that in the future. Because it did work in the past. So I'm assuming that it's just being weird. And we're just like just out of range or whatever, you know? Oh. There that goes. <laughs> okay. So we need to line this up here. And we want to try to keep this as small as possible. Okay, how is that? Yeah, that lines up. That, that'll that be good. And we can actually do all four ways because it'll be a, a dome up here, you know? But as long as this is, like, within a reasonable amount. So they'll fall down there and get crunched. And we will go ahead and... They can't spawn down there anyways, so this is okay to do here. And we'll do another one here. So in the creative world, we had this go eight out because that is how far water travels. But we don't strictly need to do that. We can make it go as far as we want to. So we'll go ahead and make it go as at least as far as the village. So how many blocks is that? One, two, three, four. Okay, that's like halfway. But we're going to have four of these, and it doesn't really matter how like how much uh, spawn space we have. Because it'll all spawn here no matter what, I've learned. So yeah, that'll be good. 
and we'll just do the same thing here. So one, two, so it was four deep, right? So one, two, three, four, one more for the wall. And we want to make the wall completely solid because I've had things spawn like outside. Like, uh, that's kind of hard to explain. Like spawn in a way to where they push themselves out of this, which is always really fun to deal with. It wasn't. It was really, really annoying. But yeah. We'll just try to do as much as we can to prevent that, though. Oh. A little too zealous over there. So one, two, three, four, and one more for the wall. Easy peasy. I did that same thing again. There. A little bit more efficient way to place blocks. And that side's done. Um, one four, excellent. And if we ever wanted to, we could have backup villagers, but hopefully we won't need to do that. And we do want something that catches the ravagers. So we might put that in the middle to try to keep it away from the balloon itself. Um, but yeah. So this will be the spawn platform. We'll have water here, and then we need something in the middle to actually catch the water. Um, probably do signs, and then a second layer of signs on those signs. Because you can pass through signs as like mobs or whatever. So yeah, that should be okay. Uh, let's see. For the ravagers, we should have them go one higher. And then in the middle, we can dangle lava down. I think that'll catch him. So I'll do that. Let's see, though. Okay, so the guys can still pass through there. So we can actually section this off. Because the ravagers will spawn no matter what, I've learned also. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Oop. It's okay, I'll only do that a thousand times. I only misplace box every freaking moment I possibly can. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Because I want, I want to be able to suspend the lava somehow. So if you put signs here and then build those up, well, we might not even need signs. But I kind of want signs. Yeah, we'll use signs just to actually make it easier. But we'll have lava in the middle of the signs. And at this level, it'll just be a line of signs going both directions. So we need a ton of signs. So we'll go down and get those together. Oof. I didn't think that was actually going to hurt me. We don't have any food in our inventory either. It's kind of silly. Hopefully those uh, zombies don't see us. And they're burning anyways. Let's see, where is our food? I believe our food is upstairs still. Um, why does you well use birch? We just need a handful of signs, so we won't really worry about the amount. We're just going to make as many as we can and be happy with it. Give me more random wood there. All right, let's go ahead and make all that perch. We'll make these sticks. Um, let's get some more sticks. And birch signs. Twelve. Is that going to be enough? Hmm. I don't think so. That should be enough though. Signs don't burn, right? That'd be kind of annoying. Okay. So we need the water to stop 
first. So let's go ahead and use birch sign for the water. So the water needs to stop eventually right here, right? And then we actually need to put a second sign. Oh, apparently that one's going to say ah. Um, like that. That'll stop all the water that we'll have flowing. And then above that, for the ravagers, we need some lava chilling right there. And so for the lava, it needs to be suspended in the middle. Um, let's make this symmetrical as we can. Otherwise, it's just going to bother me. Oh, well, I guess we're running out of birch. If I could stop misclicking, that would be fantastic. Okay, so all those signs act as a full block, right? And then if we actually raise this one up one more, the lava should be sitting on those signs as well, because that's a full block. So yeah, the lava should be sitting right there. And I want it to be about three blocks tall. Oh, we're gonna need more signs. Okay, cool. So we need more signs. That's okay, though. No. And then we need to grab our lava, too. Oops. Oh, no, we have, some, we have more signs on us. Excellent. And we will put a backboard right here. There's no reason for this, it's just to make it look less disgusting. Um, also, I have no idea if this is going to work altogether. Uh, this is just me winging a farm together. Because that's how I build. I like to do that that way. Like, I could just look up like what other people have done, and I know that this is very similar to what other people have done. But, who wants to do that? That's not fun. Hey, our food. Let's eat. And we need more blocks. Oh, there's some stone. Excellent. Beautiful landing, as always. I wouldn't I would expect no better or no less for myself. That's what I meant to say. How is that? All that buttoned up? Let's test it. Alright, lava. Okay, perfect. No flows, no weirdness. That'll work. Let's go ahead and grab the other lava. I want this solid so it's not actually flowing, so they, they actually try to travel up it. Because uh, I know Ravagers take a long time to, you know, actually die. So I want them to get out of the way as early as possible. Oh, buckets. We're of lava. Are you actually upstairs? Dang it. Oh, I missed. It's okay. We'll get it on the scaffold. Um, is this enough lava? Probably not. It's okay. We will have the bottom floor be solid and maybe the top floor and hope for the best. And that'll just have to be good enough, you know? And we could always go to the nether and come back and finish this up in the future. Uh, where did we that bucket of lava just go? Okay. Excellent. Um, love this game. No bugs at all. 
Alright, that'll have to be good enough for now. Let's go ahead and throw some blocks on this so we can have a nice covered roof. So no unfortunate accidents happen in the future. Oh, another thing with uh, these things is that light level does not matter whatsoever. Yep, isn't that fun. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some leaves so we can test out the distance that the leaves will start to burn. Because I don't remember what the spread is. But that is important information. Now that we're using lava. Because why not? Lava's fun. Okay, these should burn. I don't know if these will. And those shouldn't burn. So yeah. We'll uh, give that a second. Hopefully none of them burn, but if they do, well actually. We'll test that. This one should burn first, obviously. Uh, if anything, we can just go up one more and just assume the spread distance. But I actually have no idea what the spread distance is. I don't even know if it can go through one block, if I'm honest, because I haven't, I don't really mess with lava very much. But if it can, might as well try to minimize it. Uh, we'll go... Where's the lava? So we'll go one block out this way too. And then we'll leaf this. And... Okay, that's not burning, so I think we're okay. I think, I think we are okay. Mm -hmm. There's not a, like a ton of reasons not to just leaf everything either. Especially since like this, most of this will be covered up. So it doesn't even matter. Uh, I guess one reason is because uh, we run out of blocks, but that's okay. We can grab more. We can find more. Um, well, we gotta grab some more from downstairs. Alrighty, diorite it is. Because it's very plentiful for some reason in this area. Could have used dirt. Could have used anything else. Cobblestone. We have a lot of cobblestone. Uh, but diorite works. And let's go blast off again. Yeah. Alright. So those leaves aren't burning, which is fantastic. That bodes well for us, because it should mean that this is as high as we need to go, which would be fantastic. Oh man, no leaves see what we got. Let us see what leaves we have. I love having rockets again. I went through and tried to um, light up all the caves that were under our farm because we got new caves. What am I doing here? That was completely overkill. That is completely unnecessary. Whatever. We're doing it already. It's fine. But yeah, so because we have all those new caves from the update, I had to go through and cover up a lot of our caves that were under our mob farm. And it's actually working again. Not well, mind you. Like, there's so much more that we could do for it. But it's working a hell of a lot better than it used to. And plus with the small expansion, it's working 
it's working at, at least a little bit, you know. The primary reason that we built that was to get gunpowder. So I might have to make a creeper specific mob farm in the future. Uh, probably pretty soon because it's getting really annoying having to source gunpowder. Oh, hello. Okay, we're going down. Well, we have to sleep anyways. What's up spiders? Please don't attack me while I sleep. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. So yeah, this will probably have to be leaves, which is unfortunate because it'll probably be the only like visible leaves from the ground. But whatever. Oh, you can't open this chest either. Shite. Uh, I forgot about that. I did it the last time I was building this too. I mean, we could put barrels up here because we're gonna need um like workstations, anyways. So I could make those barrels. Oh, hello. Stop flying, please. Oh, okay. I mean, for now, I'll just leave it. Because we're still not sure if this is actually working. Because I haven't gotten any spawns. Which, once again, is very concerning. Like, this is correct now, right? Yeah. Okay, please. Hmm. Weird. What's up, spider? Please don't attack me. Thanks, my friend. Like, we had this working last time, wasn't it? What if we broke something? That'd be very unfortunate. I don't know if you can break these, though. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. The issue is, I don't really want to continue building it if I don't know if this part works, you know? Because it would be kind of a huge waste of time. It's like I could bring it into a creative world and check. That's also kind of a waste of time, though. No, oh, wait, do we need those? Yeah, it's probably good to have. Just so things are funneled down properly, you know? Even if it's not all the way. We do have to connect up some type of rope or something. What I'm thinking of using is actually scaffolding, but we could use, since we have to use leaves anyway, we could use this as the rope, right? Because like they won't spawn on this, so it's a good use. Let's see what that actually looks like though. We won't know fully what this stuff looks like until, you know, everything's complete, but we can worry about the aesthetics afterwards. Let's see what that looks like first. Ready and flip. Yeah, that won't be too bad for a rope, I don't think. We might do like a green wool. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab some water. We need to fill those eight areas with water. I only have seven buckets on me though. I must have Forgotten a bucket up there. It's okay though. We always have more iron, thanks to the lovely iron farm. I went AFKing there a little bit ago, and damn, we got so much uh, iron again. Yes, I'm aware that there's a <laughs> crafting table right there. I saw it the last second. Oh, I forgot I was wearing my boots. Um, it's okay. We'll just let it break under us. Come on. Excellent. Yeah, I got some ice, some frostwalker boots, which is a really cool enchantment if not making it a little inconvenient to just exist in the world, though. 
Um, I need to get on top of this thing. Actually, I need to get inside of this thing. It's the best way to get inside of it right now. Um, let's see. There's not really a good way to get inside of it right now. Um, oh, hello. Do you guys not stick on leaves? That's really annoying. Can't place you on leaves either? Also very annoying. Can you stick it to each other? Yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Scared the heck out of myself. Okay, let's get actually get these on our hot bar. Do 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 beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, the lava does another thing where it kind of prevents regular mobs to spawn here. Which is a little bonus. Not planned in any way, but it's a nice little bonus. Um, those scaffolds are eaten by the plants. Perfect. So we're pretty much done, actually. Uh, like like to say it. Yeah, the only thing we need to worry about is the aesthetics of the building, which we'll worry about in the future, making sure everything actually works. And um, the trident. But before we can test that stuff, we kind of need to make sure that the the spawning part of this works so I will be back again I'm going to AFK for a little bit and make sure that this spawner still works sound good so I will see you in a little bit it will be a cut here hopefully and um, yeah I just gotta make sure this still works so be right back and then we'll finish this up Alrighty, YouTube, we're back. Uh, so I got it to work. Uh, just had the pressure plate in the wrong spot, but uh, I went ahead and added our villager up there. I uh, just got rid of the... I, I used a water tower and then like a bridge uh, with rail on it. That took a while. So I got that taken care of, but I came back here to start her up again, and I found uh, some friends. So I have to kill them. Okay. <laughs> um, very strong, apparently. Um, yeah. So that's fun. Hopefully they kill each other a little bit, because that would make it a little easier. But I doubt that'll happen. Okay, we're gonna... Ah! That guy actually startled me. Ugh, this axe is too powerful. It's like destroying the stupid... Uh, please, no. Also, I learned something about, um, our boots. That is pretty funny. So, I think it's creating ice when I'm falling into, like, the river and stuff. So, like, by the time I get down to the river... <gasps> I don't have a bed out here. I can't die. Oh, no. Okay. Um... I only have one more rocket left too. It's not even in my hot bar, which is always fun. It's okay. We can get out of here. Yeah, we'll just go up here on the tar. Uh, what I was saying was that I discovered that with the boots that we have, if we like hit the river when we're falling, it'll actually turn it into ice, and we'll get. It'll consider it like a. Um, oh, you fell from a from too high. So yeah, that's a new thing I learned, which is kind of funny. Hopefully we can get a bed. There we go. Okay, we'll go to sleep real fast and try to take out those guys in the morning because they were kicking our butts. I wish I had my chest piece, but I think it's actually in the um, chest that's over there. But yes, this was the rail. It was kind of annoying, but we had infinite rails because we have infinite iron. So I was like, whatever, I'll just make the rail. 
Um, I should have just gone all the way over there and built the water tower there. But I figured if I built it here, I didn't have to get rid of it right away. Which is kind of nice. Because now, uh, since I only have one more rocket, I can uh, use it to go up. But we need to use this one last rocket to get up there. <gasps> so we can't use it right now. Let me see if I can't get our trident to get down there. Huh. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's okay. That seemed to have worked out. Also, I learned that they can open doors, which I didn't know. Lots of things I didn't know about these ones. Okay, I don't see them anywhere else, but yeah, see, I broke this. Oops. Um, let's see, do I have a... Oh, that's a lot of banners. Uh, yeah, so it works. Congrats. Pretty happy with it. But yeah, let's go ahead and go up there and I will start that one and then I'll be ferrying us all a bit uh, goodbye I guess but yeah I kind of want to show you this though because I think it's funny so we'll put our frostwalker shoes on I haven't tested it twice because I died and that's dying is really inconvenient let me tell you but I'll try it again just for you all I wonder if this will freeze it at the top since there's a water column or a uh, bubbles. That is a good question also. Huh, it doesn't. Okay, but watch this. This is exactly what I did last time. I don't know if it's going to do it twice. Yep. How annoying is that? Isn't that the most annoying thing ever? Because the first time I did it, it did it so quickly that I didn't actually notice the ice. And so I just like respawned and I was like, what the hell? How did that just kill me? And turns out if you're wearing Frostwalker boots, you can't uh, go into the river when you're flying. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it's really funny. I would suggest that you give your friends Frostwalker boots and have them uh, dive into the water without them knowing it. You know, that would be pretty funny. I don't know. Uh, I have to investigate, but I wonder if it works without, like, having the elytra on. I don't know. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny. Wanted to show it off. But let's go back up there and go to the place that we need to be. And we will call it a day, I think. Because I'm going to actually AFK for a little bit. Ooh, I kind of need leaves, though. Because I want to encase myself. Uh, It's okay. I'll show you what's up here at least. Bingo. I haven't put a new chest over here. I'm still deciding on how I want to do that. Uh, but yeah, you can hear our person, our villager, in his little station. So let's go ahead and chop this. Put up that there. There we go, that works. And then we can add our trident to this one. Um, I don't want to break this without silk touch. There we go. Okay, and then we should be able to just throw a trident in there. And this doesn't use up durability for the trident, so we should be okay. Go ahead and break that. Um... And wow, that's a great timing. I do need to turn it on though, so I do need a lever or something. Where a button would work, I think. There we go. I'm not really sure how they just died. Let me see if they're not falling. They might be hitting the lava. Ooh, that's actually really annoying. Hold on. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Okay, so I do think that they're just hitting the lava. Ugh, that's kind of annoying. I think that's an easy fix though, right? Let's just watch one more time to see if anybody actually falls down here. I don't see anybody falling. I wonder where they're getting stuck at. Hmm. Kind of annoying. Did that raid not go through? <laughs> okay, well, we got three emeralds. So, we know it's working. We uh, we have to, you know, change some things, some small things. This would be a little finicky. But I will do that stuff off camera, and we'll probably make the balloon either next episode or the episode after that. Or something else in the future. Who knows? But I think that I'll have to do for all right now. Um, I don't think anything's spawning below us. I think we're high up enough to where that's not going to be a thing. Oh, there they are. Okay, yeah, so a lot of them are dying on the lava. So I need to raise it up. Which is fine. But yeah. Until next time. Thank you all for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that cool stuff. And yeah. Share the video. Sharing is uh, caring. That would be incredibly helpful by the way. Yeah, it doesn't seem... We get a lot of junk from this too. Anyway, sorry. Uh, Yeah. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you next one. I love you. Bye-bye. Well,